Now, let's bring in former White House speechwriter Mark Thiessen. It's good to see you, Mark. First, your thoughts. Good to see you, Liz. It's good to see you. What are your thoughts on the debate tonight? Uh, first of all, my, my number one prediction is that Dana Perino is going to be a huge star. <laughs> She's going to be great. I love Dana, and I'm so happy, and Stu as well. Uh, I think it's going to be a great debate. They're going to ask a lot of great questions. My, my, the question for me going into this debate is Ronald Reagan is going to be about 50 yards away from that debate stage. And the question is, is he going to be rolling in his grave or not? Because uh, you've got a lot of candidates who are distancing themselves from Reagan conservatism. And, and, uh, and you've got Vivek Ramaswamy, who's talking about, uh, you know, handing Taiwan over to communist China after 2028. Uh, they, these these things are incompatible with the with the conservative movement and the Republican Party that Ronald Reagan built and that's going to be that's celebrated in that building. So I want to see uh, people hold the people holding to the Reagan line and people and candidates holding uh, the candidates who won't to account for that. You know, Mark. You know, the American people see disarray. They don't feel safe. They they see yeah. so much that's hurting you know, their families with inflation. They don't like the crime in the headlines, the border crisis. And now we've got the Senate in turmoil. What do you think of Senator Bob Menendez and his wife arraigned today on U.S. bribery and corruption charges, both pleading not guilty? We got at least 30 Democrat senators saying he should resign, yeah. but Chuck Schumer not saying that yet. Yeah, they're, they're afraid of losing the Senate. Uh, they've got they've got a narrow control over the Senate, and then going into the 2024 elections, uh, the map is heavily tilted towards Republicans. So going in in 2024, Democrats are going to be defending 23 seats, including seven seats that Donald Trump won or that Biden just barely won, um, and, Dem and Republicans are going to be defending 10 seats, and none of them are in Biden states. So the Senate map is very very tilted towards Republicans going forward if they don't screw it up. But uh, that they were having a hard time to defend that uh, the their ground without New Jersey being in play. Now New Jersey is going to be in play because if Bob Menendez stays on the ballot and somebody puts up a, and Republicans put up a strong candidate in New Jersey, uh, then all of a sudden New Jersey is in, in contention. I would what I would personally like to see. I'd like to see Chris Christie get out of the get off that debate stage in, in Simi Valley and declare he's running against Bob Menendez in New Jersey because there's somewhere there's a, an election he could win and there's an election that he could win precisely because of the reasons why he's not taking off in the Republican primary, which is that he's become, gone from a Trump ally to a Trump critic. That would win him votes and swing voters well, in New Jersey. Well, that's interesting you say that, because this isn't going away. I mean, reports are coming in. The FBI is, a pro is probing whether Egyptian military intelligence did play a role in this alleged bribery scheme. I mean, he was chair of Senate Foreign Relations. Menendez helped oversee billions yeah. of dollars in USA to Egypt. So this isn't going away, Mark. Final word. No, it isn't going away. And look, even if he didn't do, even if there wasn't any quid for pro, the quid pro quo, I mean, a senator can't take a concert ticket, much less take a, take gold bars. <laughs> you know, hundred thousand right. dollars worth so of gold you're bars. Saying, so he and, violated <laughs> Senate ethics codes, right? Oh, hundred percent. So gosh, why isn't he, he, he resigning? Uh, he, well, I mean, that's what the Democrats want. He says he's going to defend himself. They want him to resign, not because they're suddenly concerned about ethics. If they were concerned about ethics, they'd be uh, asking Joe okay. Biden to resign over the Hunter Biden scandal. They, they're concerned about their, their, their Senate majority, and that's all they care about is power. Wow. Gosh. Mark Thiessen, thank you so much.